Lights, camera, action. When a script is written that is so bad, no one will film it. These brave podcasters will bring it to life just so they can mock it. This is Table Reads. So the movie's kaput, which means your script ain't worth the buffalo shit on a nickel. Table Reads with Sean McBee, Jeff Lewis, and Joshua Baker. Hey everybody, welcome to Table Reads, hey. episode 104. 104. That brings us to part five of Lord of the Rings by John Borman, the 1970 classic that makes every bit as much sense as the Hobbit trilogy. By John Boromir. Is it, is it better? Is the Hobbit trilogy good? No, no, it is garbage. Oh, the, oh, no, I, yeah, yeah, I really no, didn't like it. Oh, it's yeah, terrible. It terrible. I didn't even watch the last one. I watched it because people made me. Oh, my God. <laughs> Who are these people? Put a gun to my head. It's like, you're going to watch these stupid dwarves dance and pee on things. Yeah. Wait. No, this is great. Is it, though? Is it? Uh, no. You're right. Fuck. Sean's always right. <laughs> so, we've had a... <laughs> that's great for the last week to see you fiddle with your fucking cord. That's the best part about what you just did. This is good timing. It's only just, only we get like, to experience oh, that. Fuck. <laughs> he's like playing with cords. So he's like, so. Uh. This script, man. Uh, here, let me let me just tell you about it. Previously on table reads. <laughs> So the Fellowship of the Ring has set off, and pretty quickly, shit gets weird, guys. There's a weird blood makeout session between Aragorn and Boromir. Then, of course, the only way to escape some wargs is for everyone to freeze themselves in ice for an indeterminate amount of time. Uh, Then once they thaw, things get real weird again as Gandalf beats Gimli with a stick to make him dig... Quote, greedily, which helps him remember a language he never knew, (laughs) which gained the gang entry into Moria. Once in the ancient abandoned mines, everyone walks over a floor carpeted with inert orcs. Just everywhere, just bodies. But they come to life when you hit them. So, of course, they start coming to life. And the orc floor chases everyone to a bridge where the Balrog attacks and Gandalf falls into darkness and flame. Fade in. I love the orc floor. The orc floor chases them. (laughs) Exterior. A lake. Sunset. The fellowship limps on in silence across the dusty land. Their wounds from Moria are dressed with leaf poultices. They look tired, bedraggled and dispirited. No one speaks. Jeff has died. He's dead. Then I was gutted. Then, <laughs> then Legolas's face brightens as he looks ahead. He smiles and indicates something. The others strain to see. The weary, drawn faces squint ahead. Gradually, one by one, they see the glad sight that Legolas sees. Their parched lips crack into smiles and painfully, hobbling along, they quicken their pace. They break into a loping run. It is a lake, standing like an oasis, surrounded by trees and shrubs, a riot of blossoms. Flowers circle the lake, and lilies adorn the water, which is fed by a slender waterfall. It is idyllic, dreamlike, a wild garden of Eden. The eight tired companions stumble into the water up to their knees, and then collapse into it, moaning with relief. Ah, the pungent fragrance of the waters! Aragorn helps Frodo to take off his clothes. 
<laughs> Frodo has been helped right to get back naked into it. so many times. I mean, he's, this a, is true. he's a sexy little hobbit. Yeah, Look but he's guy, like, like, oh. Did I, miss, did I miss the part where Frodo doesn't have fingers or something? <laughs> <laughs> he's just stumps. <laughs> Which explains why he wears the ring around his neck. Right. 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 <laughs> it's a necklace. It's a ring. You know the famous song from Lord of the Rings, the Frodo of the Nun Fingers? That was proud feet. Very low on the track list for me. Because <laughs> there's a song Frodo of the Nine Fingers, but it's the Nun Fingers because now he has no. Cause. That's a deep cut for all you fucking non nerds. Fucking nerds. <laughs> <laughs> fucking <they're> nerds. Because, <laughs> because you, you, spoilers. Gollum bites off the the yeah. the ring finger. Oh, yeah. And so oh. he only has nine fingers, and so. Then when, they made the when, song about when the, him. When the songs of legend are are written about their exploits later in life, he's known as Frodo of the Nine Fingers, and there's a song about it. It's in the animated ones. Oh, those are gross. They got made instead of this by Ralph Bakshi. Those are very gross. That's my story. Moving on. Lord of the Rings 2 win. But the nun fingers. <laughs> so I just changed one letter, and it made our joke work. You did I just great. want some fucking... Recognition! Just I thought it was look great. Look at the camera. Look at this. Look at the camera. They're rec rec no, in the fingers, recognizing yes. you. The nun fingers. Uh, I mean, ha 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 ha! did you like shit in his Fruit Loops? <laughs> <laughs> the water runs over their limbs and fatigued faces, easing aches and wounds. The hobbits quickly recover their spirits. <laughs> Our friend died, but fuck, we got a bath now. Uh, look at that <laughs> lake. <laughs> Pippin breaks into song and splashes his feet. I say hurry for a bath at close of day. The washes that weary mud away. And never did fountain sound as sweet as the splashing of water made by my feet. I'm never going to do that again. Aragorn trickles water over a bruise on Frodo's side, and already it fades. It's not how bruises work or water Magic. or anything. Magic water. Better than a wizard. Better than that shitty wizard. <laughs> I'll drink wizard for bath water any day. <laughs> I'm out of magic because I beat that dwarf with a stick. <laughs> what? He's like... Greedy! <laughs> <laughs> the worst spell casting ever. <laughs> <I'm a cadaver. laughs> that's yeah. That's how that's how the imperious curse works in Lord of the Rings. You just beat him with, you your, with your staff. <laughs> yeah. Before you take a shot, I'm out of cadaver. I'm a cadaver. <laughs> that's the greatest thing. Lord of the Rings changed all the Harry Potter lore. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a lot of Harry Potter on the mind, by the way, because I just rewatched all the movies and reread all the books. Where'd you find those? <laughs> <laughs> Plug something cool. <laughs> Is this where our Audible sponsor comes in? <laughs> And if you would like to read all the audiobooks and watch all the Harry Potter movies, um, feel free to check out Piracy. <laughs> PirateBay.org. Don't pay for nothing. Find it on Slack. That's sl right. Piracy. <laughs> Everything you want for free. Slack.com slash Harry Potter. There's no downside. <laughs> <laughs> Call your local internet service provider and tell them. Don't ask. Tell them you're going to illegally tell them. <laughs> They'll send you a cease and desist order. That's true. Uh, That's stop. right. Call Comcast today and say that you would like unlimited data for all your pirating, please. <laughs> One terabyte a month will not do for all the shit that I download, Comcast. I'm trying to hack. <laughs> Give me more internet hacks, bro. I'm trying to download more RAM. The others draw closer to help Aragorn. Oh, wait. The ring dances in the incandescent waters. The others draw closer to help Aragorn. They have all taken off most of their clothes and are caught in the spell of the waters. <laughs> More bloody makeout? Frodo feels immensely relieved. He takes a deep breath and looks around at the beautiful setting. Then he looks up at all the others. I... I feel as if I was inside a song. 
Oh. No, that was Boromir. <laughs> dig, dig, dig. Who? Someone wrote that line of dialogue I feel as if with I the intention that an song. actor would speak it out loud. Yeah. Am I all alone here? I, 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 I think it's sweet. It's like Brokeback Misty Mountain. Like I feel as if I was inside a song. The fuck does that mean? I don't know. Depends on the song. You're not inside a song now. Depends on the song. Uh, it's My not friend Ender, died. It's not Ender Sandman. <laughs> A figure surfaces out of the water before him. Oh, shit. <laughs> she is a tall and beautiful woman of elven features, sparsely clad, statuesque, aloof, so. hanging out in the lake. Does she have Excalibur? Shing! As she rises to her feet, the others see her, too, and start in wonder and alarm, ready to draw their weapons. A woman! Ah! <laughs> Kill her. <laughs> she addresses someone behind them. I'll do. I'm all the other ladies. I'll do. I'll they do. are not okay. to be feared. There you go. They turn to see elven bowmen relaxing their bowstrings. Beyond the bowmen is something they cannot quite make out at first. Where previously there had been trees and bushes is a large opening. A hole seems to have been cut in the landscape. They discern the vague outline of a great tent on which are true-to-life representations that blend in perfectly with the surroundings. The company turn their eyes away from the tent back to her. Just Aragorn and Legolas endure her glance, while Boromir is confused, looking away and glancing back again seductively. <laughs> <laughs> is he like waggling his eyebrows? Like, uh, hey, baby! <laughs> Lady Not since lady. the broader days when I was queen in my own land have I seen elf and man and dwarf and halfling together. We're hobbits, not halflings. She casts a cold look at Pippin, who cringes. Shimmering pearls of water glide down her body. Oh, Galadriel. You are Galadriel of the Mira. Legolas, strumming on his bow, breaks into a bird-like dance? <laughs> In a suave, seductive voice, give it to me, Sean. Oh, yeah. Your beauty uh, plucks at my heart as a bird seeks out the fruit among the leaves. Yeah! <laughs> there you go. <laughs> While Legolas performs, Gimli's eyes drift across Galadriel's body. He tosses and catches his axe, looking tough. Boromir is puffing himself up, and throws back his cloak to reveal his muscles, while Aragorn takes up a stance of dignified nobility. Oh my god. Truly an awesome quest this company has set upon. <laughs> For you bear the sword that was broken and not forged again. It's an extra unnecessarily long name for that. Like, it's broken, we get it. Yeah. You crashed the car. Your That's still, missing wheels. Your still unfixed sword. <laughs> The vase that was broken and not repaired. And left in pieces. <laughs> A.K.A. the trash. <laughs> <laughs> that old warehouse has the window that was broken and not replaced. <laughs> and quite drafty. <laughs> <laughs> we should just start doing that in real life. Like, just add fucked up additional descriptors to everything. Like, <laughs> This is the arm that was broken. And I didn't go to the doctor, and it's real fucked up right now. <laughs> this was the dick that was had and never had again. <laughs> what? <laughs> it's a one-night stand. Oh, yeah. oh, okay, I get it, yeah. This is the baby that was birthed and not shoved back in a swap. <laughs> <laughs> what the f <laughs> We call him Ted. <laughs> Ted. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, Ted. <laughs> Aragorn is disturbed by the mention of the sword. Probably because he bloody made out with Boromir over it. Which sword? He fumbles nervously with his scabbard and water pours out of it. He looks embarrassed, realizing he has lost dignity. Aragorn. Oh. Gandalf, the Grey Wizard, was our guide. 
but he has fallen and we are lost and we have great need to look in your mirror <laughs> at the mention of Gandalf's name a tremor of remembered grief passes through the fellowship yeah if it happened like 10 minutes ago I don't know why you guys are singing songs about water 10 minutes after your friend dies Splashy, splashy. Like one of them's acting like a fucking bird, and the other one's like, like <laughs> fucking rubbing his muscles and shit. They're like, we okay. lost our friend. <laughs> also, I want to say the thing about Legolas's bird-like dance, because if you have not gone to YouTube and looked up um, Birds of Paradise dances, they have these mer mating dances where they're all like. <laughs> 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 that's definitely it. If that's not it, I'm over it. <laughs> like, go and watch these. No joke. When my when my wife is like sad or feeling down, I do these dances. I dance oh, like a oh, bird of paradise to make her laugh. So that's so cute. Super cool. You have? Does she know which ones are which? Uh, well, she does. Look at him. It's. <laughs> <laughs> It's it's been a while since I watched the the video, sure. so now I just make up weird shit. There you go, there you go. It's custom now. That's sweet. He's like he's like an explorer discovering new bird dances from Papua New Guinea and shit. He's in Madagascar, like darling. Check but that's it. what I'm picturing Legolas doing. Is the point? Like weird, right, right, right. flaily, crazy. Like he's puffing his hair out and shit. Yeah, <laughs> That's the sweetest thing I've ever heard. That's really sweet. so adorable. <laughs> All right, guys, <laughs> calm down. Um, it's actually really good exercise. Also, no, I've, I've winded myself breath. dancing yeah. like a bird. <laughs> work He's out of the day. Breath, work right out now. of the day. Golden crown, <laughs> floofy <laughs> poof. Like, <laughs> oh god, I got a stitch from the from the floorball horn. Floorball <laughs> horn. I'm bad at making up names of birds. <laughs> I, believe, I thought it was one. <laughs> it's like he's like naming Engelbert Humperdinck. <laughs> it's a florable horn. Benedict Crumples Grudge. Crumples Grudge. <laughs> Wumpty back, flippy boop. Uh, I saw Eddie Izzard live. It was great. Ah, uh, where the fuck am I? Um, uh, Dimensions of Gandalf's name, I think. Or a tremor of remembered grief passes through the fellowship. The balm of the lake and the fascination of Galadriel has distracted their minds from their great loss. Legolas and Gimli bow their heads while the hobbits break into wails and laments. Oh, oh Gandalf! Gandalf! Gandalf is gone! gone. Oh, oh, Gandalf! Gandalf! Gandalf. <laughs> okay, that sounds like like they're getting sexed, yeah. right? That's pretty good. <laughs> I, and there's one in the back. I don't really miss him. <laughs> <laughs> I oh. thought he was a jerk. He's he's a pretty shitty wizard. <laughs> <laughs> he was just Gandalf Gray. <laughs> Gandalf the okay. Gandalf the okay. I saw I saw that his cards were marked. Like <laughs> this guy's a joke. Not even a costume change can make them better. <laughs> I found a rabbit skeleton in his hat. <laughs> <laughs> We haven't read anything. <laughs> <clears throat> Gandalf, I knew him once. Before he took the guise of a man. Sam, Mary, and Pippin now break oh, into a dirge. <sighs> Frodo listens sadly. The, the finest, finest rock. Oh, oh, oh! This is this is actually in the movie, the real movie. Is it sad? And this slow is like we're doing? Uh, this is what Sam sings. Oh, um, do? you start it, and then we'll do he it just him. says it like a poem, really. Oh, the finest, finest rock ever, ever seen. seen. They, they burst in stars of blue and green, silver spray and golden showers come, come falling like, like a rain of flowers. flowers. They continue to hum the tune in a wailing way, whilst Frodo Aww. chants a litany to the virtues of Gandalf. Aww. His bushy eyebrows, <laughs> his riddles, his quick temper, the secrets of his cloak. Aww. What? Yeah. The secrets of his cloak? And golden yeah. showers. 
<laughs> you keep your secrets, Clay. <laughs> <laughs> I know Lord of the Rings thing. <laughs> <laughs> like the four memes that you've memorized. All four of them, goddammit. <laughs> Galadriel watches in a detached manner, studying each member of the Fellowship. Emphasis on member. Boromir cannot keep his eyes off her. He steps up to her, exuding self-confidence. You are the true mirror of beauty, Lady of the Mirror. I am Boromir, and my father, Denethor is the steward of the great city of Minas Tirith, which alone stands in arms against the common enemy. I said so many fucking nonsense words. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like Alec Guinness from Star Wars. Like, this is nonsense. Somebody's gonna watch this shit. <laughs> Boromir, with a flush of passion, takes her in his arms and kisses her. Fuck, hashtag oh. me too. No, can we, <laughs> can't spell me too without me. <laughs> Dude, you ever heard of consent? <laughs> Not with a mirror. She remains <laughs> aloof and unresponsive. Oh no, she's dead. They <laughs> gave him Gandalf slip or some of that happy juice. <laughs> His ardor withers and he turns away with a bitter cry of humiliation. Aww. She is pretty flower, but she badly needs watering, she does. Sam just said she's not wet enough. What the yeah, fuck is this shit? Fucking Bukaki. <laughs> Her eyes and Sam's meet. Sam blushes. Galadriel betrays a faint smile of amusement. Frodo is still running water over his bruise. Eh, never doing this shit over here. <laughs> like, she, ain't, she ain't got a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I miss his cloak. <laughs> I'm cold. <laughs> Somebody put my clothes back in. <laughs> they keep taking my clothes off and he burned my cloak. <laughs> That's the other thing I want to point out. In the last episode, Gandalf took his cloak off a lot. And we never have ever seen him without one. <laughs> Got this mysterious. What, what are they picturing him wearing under his wizard's robe? <laughs> like a fucking Grateful Dead t-shirt. <laughs> like <laughs> some jeans. What do, some what like, does a wizard wear under his robe? Ratty shorts. When, let's start. Can we start really loosely using the term wizard? <laughs> <laughs> you just have to air quote wizard. 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 Uh, <laughs> Honestly, I, I feel like this is the first time I've seen a wizard that was less deserving of the title than Rincewind. Who had to write wizard on his hat so that people understood that he was a wizard. Who's that? From Discworld. Yes. Oh, yeah. uh, Precisely so. Yeah, Terry Pratchett. Yeah, you need to read those 42 books. Fuck. <laughs> Rince wins only in like four of them, though. Yeah. But All the right. first two. Let's wrap this up. I got some books to read. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean you haven't read all those Discworld books? Just leave the podcast running. I'll read it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're just going to read it. Uh, okay, okay, welcome to the Discworld. hour <laughs> Discworld podcast. Uh, I have read all 42 of those books. Holy, Holy shit. shit. I am on the verge of like deciding to reread them also. They're short. They're good. They're funny. They're like they're like uh, Hitchhiker's Guide, but fantasy instead of sci-fi. Okay. It. In terms of like the sense of humor, you get behind there if you like it. Fucking run it. Um, was it me? Uh, no, no, I'm not uh, there. Yet. You we did the part where she's got to get wet. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Galadriel stoops down beside Frodo and trickles water over his fading bruise. Her hand moves across his chest, touching the ring. The others gasp. She senses the sudden tension, but Frodo remains tranquil. Mary stands up with servile aplomb and begins to wring out her beautiful long hair. And a lot of fuss is made about you, halfling. Pippin is nervously bouncing flat stones over the pool. He interrupts Galadriel. Hobbits! She turns on Pippin with a cold look, because he didn't learn his lesson the first time. Frodo points to one of Pippin's stones bouncing over the water. Look, if it floats, we're hobbits. If it sinks, we're halflings. At these strange words, they all turn to watch. The bouncing stone disappears behind a bend. Frodo and Galadriel look into each other's eyes. Frodo smiles shyly. 
She shakes out her mane of hair and looks at Frodo in a way that is not without warmth. She whips her hair and draws closer to him. Her hair is like a net and a halo which engulfs Frodo, enveloping him. You shall look into the mirror, and you are alone. Well, you alone. Interior, Galadriel's Pavilion. Night. It is a soft space defined by drapes, at the summit of the great tent, partially open to the bright starlit sky. Galadriel and Frodo are seated on a floor of carpets and cushions. Between them is a small silver basin on a tripod. In the basin there is water. Frodo looks into it and sees only the water. I look and I see nothing. You look and you see nothing, for you are not yet ready. When? When shall I be ready? And how? With knowledge. And I am that knowledge. She's saying that he needs to know her? You need to get learned, boy. He's about to whip that hair back and forth. <clears throat> I... I don't know what questions I should ask. Your eyes ask questions. Oh. Already. Oh. <sighs> Can I fit my entire body in your ass? <laughs> Accepting the invitation, his eyes wander over her body, yeah. drinking in her loveliness. Yeah. These guys were trapped in this house in Ireland, surrounded by pages of this book for too long. They got to page 73 and they were they were like, I am just so fucking horny. I will fuck anything. Frodo, Boromir, inert orcs. Drill a hole in Lord of the Rings. I'm a fuck it. They just lost they just lost their friend. Fuck the pain away. <laughs> fuck the pain away. There you go. Fuck the pain away. <laughs> Galadriel's austere and aloof features soften. Galadriel's hand touches the chin from which the ring dang the chain from which the ring dangles. That makes more sense. And Frodo's hand takes hers. Frodo looks again into the reflection in the basin and sees their two faces come together and kiss. Interior tent, night. The tent in Frodo's pants. Hey yo! <laughs> hey yo! <laughs> Uh, so. Aragorn's face is half hidden in the shadowy light. His sad eyes shine faintly as he turn hums a few bars of a haunting, nostalgic song. The others are seated or lying on a soft, curved surface of fine webbing, like a great hammock or a circus safety net, which is <laughs> <laughs> suspended inside the tent from poles and trees. Above, other hammocks are strung where elves can be glimpsed. Below, through the mesh, are pack mules who are stable on the ground levels of the tent. The mules chew, stamp, and flick their tails. Their relentlessness reflects that of the fellowship, now that Frodo is with Galadriel. Gimli sharpens his axe. Sparks fly. Boromir and Legolas clean their sword blades. <sighs> Galadriel, a mighty piece of stone she is for a dwarvish tool to carve. She wants to read our thoughts for her own good purposes. We may be safe from the orcs tonight, but I fear for the ring. I fear for Frodo. I, he does say it twice. Okay, sorry. Uh, but I fear for the ring. I fear for Frodo. I fear for the ring. What's holding Frodo? Why hasn't he come? <laughs> right? <laughs> well, because I'm, ladies first, buddy, come we're, on. We're all watching. <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, they are all nervous, except for Aragorn, who remains aloof. Merry bites on a Lembus. <gasps> he rolls it in his mouth, savoring the taste ecstatically. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry. <clears throat> Gladriel. <laughs> what the fuck is this shit? They no wonder look. Kelly Kelly pre-read it. She's like, "Fuck you guys! I yeah, ain't coming to read I this not shit." Going to be here. What the fuck is this shit? She's like, "We're like, we li we'd like to have a lady on the podcast." <laughs> <laughs> She's like, <laughs> "Hard pass, <laughs> hard pass." Yeah. They all look up 
listening for a sign of Frodo. They hear only the restless mules below. To evil ways this company has been led. I shall take the south bank of the great river and go to Minas Tirith. It is my duty. It is folly to enter Mordor without a great army. Folly may also be our duty. I shall take the north bank to Mordor. Tonight Frodo can fend for himself, and for once we may sleep in peace. A brief pause. Gimli. <laughs> Why did I come on this quest? <laughs> I get it. <laughs> I saw Moria overrun by orcs and Gandalf fall, and now I see beauty, and even that is taken from me. The others have settled down to sleep. Gimli sluggishly continues sharpening his axe. Alas for us all, but Gimli, memory shall be your reward. I shall keep her in my spank bank. <laughs> <laughs> memory is not what I ache for, dear Legolas. <laughs> dig, dig, dig. <laughs> creak, 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 creak. <laughs> Unwittingly, Gimli runs his finger across the ge gleaming edge of his axe. It reacts with an aggrieved howl. Legolas, who is dozing off, smiles. The others fidget and turn as they seek elusive sleep. Table Reads will return after this brief word from our sponsors. What's up, docs and docettes? Trevor Thompson, the self-appointed Looney Tunes critic here, and if you like old cartoons and watching online reviewers dissect them, then you probably said the same thing I did about two years ago. Hey, what the fuck? Bear, watch your language, you bud. Every Saturday morning, I do a brand new commentary of a Warner Brothers short. All throughout the month, I do video essays examining the history of these cartoons. Catch my videos on youtube.com slash ferriswheelhouse2, or just use the hashtag Looney Tunes Critic. And now, here's Eric Bauza, the new voice of Bugs Bunny. You've been listening to the Looney Tunes Critic. Ain't he a stinker? Lights, camera, action. So the movie's a good part. Which means your script ain't worth the buffalo shit on a nickel. Now, back to Table Reads. Jeff was so surprised that we'd already hit 30 minutes in this episode. <laughs> we are not exactly making as much progress as we did in the last episode. I mean, Galadriel takes her clothes off for Frodo. I mean, that brings everything to a halt. I mean... Basically, Frodo's like getting laid, and everybody else is sitting in a lake jacking off, right. they're wishing all, they were Frodo. They're all jealous. They're like, <laughs> you need to read all your next dialogue, Frodo, uh, like a guy who just lost his uh, virginity. <laughs> I need you to be super stoked about everything that's happening now. Because <laughs> I, I, I did read forward or, on the or like of real the page. smug. Yeah, yeah, smug. They <laughs> yeah, go yeah. play it smug. Yeah. Do it. Do it like, like you know. You're like fucking. Like before, you were just being guided, and everybody was undressing you and shit. Now you're a man who can take his own clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can handle this that's, ring. That's it. That's it. That's how you need to read. At least give me page seventy five. You can do whatever you want after that, <laughs> but give me seventy five. Look, Sam. Look. That's it. That's it. <laughs> you don't understand now, but you will. Yeah, yeah. You You'll will. get it. You'll get it. Gimli. Sharp look, your axe. Look, Seriously. Let me just let me just say I've been throwing some shit into Mountain Doom, all right? <laughs> <laughs> I went into the void, my brothers, and the void was pleased. <laughs> I know a thing or two about a thing or two about putting some stuff in some volcanoes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Thou shalt not pass. I totally did. <laughs> One does not just simply pull out. <laughs> Fade in. <coughs> Exterior, sky, sunrise. I don't know how there's a whole paragraph under that. Like, you've already said everything there is to say about a sunrise. No, tell me about the sunrise. Gimli's howl transforms into a sensual cry. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so, right back in... First thing we see is a sunrise. Over, we hear the sound of Gimli coming. Ah, ah, <laughs> this fucking lake is filthy. <laughs> oh, the fish in there are just going nuts. Like shit. <laughs> <laughs> 
and now sounds more like Frodo's voice. On the horizon, a red glow appears. The cry thins out into a pure musical sound. The first rays of the sun appear. The undersides of the clouds redden, and the redness expands like a stain across the sky. The music fades as if it had been absorbed into the swelling red glow. Exterior, the lake, dawn. A scrim of semen covers the entire... Oh, sorry. <laughs> You made me double take at my phone. <laughs> like I was thinking to myself, I was like, you know, that was really sweet. Like it's pretentious, but it's sweet. And then you did that and I believed you. <laughs> Sell it, baby. Galadriel and Flo- Frodo are floating in the waters of the pool. Gross. It is very still. They do not move for fear of disturbing the perfection of the moment. Finally, Frodo sighs a sigh of sadness. Like, give me, give me, give me smug. I will look into the mirror. <laughs> I am ready. I feel ready. <laughs> Give me this page and I'll leave you alone. I swear to God. Oh, it's good. But Frodo. <laughs> but Frodo makes no move. Galadriel's hair drifts through the water and rests on Frodo's chest. A ring that he has not seen before lies on her finger, and a halo of light emanates from it. Frodo is fascinated. So, you see it. It is one of the elven rings of power that are hidden. But it cannot be hidden from the bearer of the one who will know the eye. Frodo is overcome by the wonder of Galadriel. He looks into her eyes. You are wise and fearless. To you, the ring should be entrusted. (laughs) <laughs> this makes it better. <laughs> you're laughing you're giggling in the background makes it so good <laughs> <laughs> he takes off the ring and hands it to her but Frodo does not release the chain she handles it and is it about and is about to put it on she holds it against the elven ring to see how they look together <laughs> an ugly grimace comes over her face She is afraid, trembles. Frodo sees her reaction and pulls back the chain. She regains her radiant beauty and her warmth. I cannot give it, and you cannot bear it. (laughs) (laughs) I love this Frodo. It completely changes the story. (laughs) Frodo the (laughs) fuck machine. (laughs) <laughs> the fuck machine. I love Frodo. <laughs> fuck his way across. What, 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 what the fuck is this land? Middle Earth. <laughs> Turned into one a, cock to rule them all. <laughs> Turned it into a power bottom Earth. <laughs> Aragorn, get over here and undress me, <laughs> bro. Wipe it up. I'm ready to go again. <laughs> uh, that's why there's nine of you. One oh. ring, motherfucker. <laughs> Hey, Gimli, don't ask why your hair is so soft yeah. <laughs> and sticky. <laughs> Smell my finger. <laughs> By the way, we're still not through the first movie of the yeah. Peter Jackson yeah, trilogy. Yeah, we're not. We're not. I believe that. This is still the first movie. Episode five. <laughs> uh, By that rationale, if things keep on a pace, we are looking... At a 15 episode script. Unprecedented. <laughs> it it's is. 178 pages. Like, what are we supposed to do? We got a fucking 100 more pages. What if I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Galadriel seems to diminish and Frodo to grow in stature in his pants. Nice. He is ascendant now, greater than she. See? <laughs> If you fail in your quest, we are laid bare to the enemy. But if you succeed and destroy the ring, our powers will fade too, and the elves will dindle to a rustic folk of dell and cave, slowly to forget and to be forgotten. No, never will the power of the elves die. For what I felt in you is the stuff of which all life is made. What I put in you is the stuff of which all life is made. What I felt in you? (laughs) Fuck's sake. What the fuck is this shit? Life's about smashing puss. (laughs) 
After we have gone, our powers may find a small place in the hearts of women. In other women, you will remember me. <laughs> in them. Men will sometimes find a fleeting vision of what we were. Now the world is full of peril. Love is now mingled with grief. With grief, love grows, perhaps the greater. Galadriel, defeated, looks down at Frodo. A confusion of tenderness, of desire, and of great sadness is in her eyes. <laughs> great sadness. <laughs> Don't change it. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, within the wild, flowering landscape before them, an opening appears as the flaps of the tent are thrown aside. Aragorn, Boromir, Legolas, and Gimli, <laughs> and the hobbits file out. Their faces show signs of a bad night's rest. I say we take the south bank. The north bank should be our course. They look angrily at Frodo, but he faces them calmly and squarely. Standing a little in front of Galadriel. <laughs> just half solved. Just <laughs> they notice his new assurance, and their determined, aggressive manner melts into uncertainty. He addresses them quietly. <laughs> I have looked into the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> Fade out. <laughs> Gentlemen, <laughs> I have looked into <laughs> the mirror. The <gasps> They're all. <gasps> they called me Fucko Baggins. <laughs> ass the best Baggins. One yet. <laughs> <laughs> I bagged her end. Fuck boy Baggins. <laughs> Fucko. <laughs> it's my favorite. Fuck. <laughs> 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 Exterior, river, day. A strange spectacle. The eight members of the fellowship apparently glide across a landscape of trees and grasses. They move without ever taking a step. Closer inspection reveals a river. <laughs> what the fuck? Surprise! It's water. Surprise! They're on the thing that we said at the top of the sc is this, scene. Is this more dead orcs? <laughs> <laughs> they never know where they're walking. <laughs> They've made a raft of dead orcs three miles long. <laughs> Frodo's just walking with a dick hanging out of his zipper. <laughs> yeah, zip it up. Oh, I'm sorry. Was it out? Let me get my mithril condom. <laughs> I've looked into the mirror. <laughs> Sting. <laughs> Shing. We're back. They are drifting downstream on a large, improvised raft made of orcs. <laughs> if only you wish at home. Made of rushes and reeds. Aragorn is at the stern, steering with a long oar made from a branch. The river flows at a steadily, steady, placid rate. They have been scanning the riverbanks. There is no alarm among the birds. The trees are at peace. I hate every word that yeah. has come out of Legolas's mouth. Yeah, he sucks. It's more birds. <laughs> <laughs> Boromir is almost disappointed. He sits down. Peace. It will be on me like rust upon a sword. Gimli sprawls out, sighing with boredom. <sighs> Mary yawns. Uh, I must agree. It, all this rest is very tiring. Sam is smoking his pipe. He hands it to Pippin, who draws on it, and then offers it to Boromir, who refuses. He passes it instead to Gimli. They are all spread out over the raft, smoking, nibbling Lembus, hands trailing languidly over the side. Mary chews on a Lembus. Raspberry jam. He grimaces. Well, I'm sick of raspberry jam. <laughs> In contrast, Aragorn stands erect at the rudder, a tall, <laughs> watchful figure. I don't know why they needed to mention that he was it, erect. The, 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 it already says he's steering. This is the second paragraph in a row. It's like, and he's at the head. <laughs> Stop telling me where he is. I know. He's up here with his heart on. Again. Just <laughs> being there. Dick out. Mary's sitting there eating the lemon. is like, Frodo's mirror. 
<laughs> Frodo's. <laughs> Pippin is full of well-being. Pipe in mouth, he addresses Legolas in a rhetorical way. Lord Elf, the trees. They seem to bow and curtsy as we pass. Or does the breeze bend them? The smooth pace of the raft is hypnotic. The tree-lined bank drifts past. Tranquil. Tranquil. Somnolent. <laughs> I knew I was going to fuck that up. They went too fancy I can say it, it, but I can't say it and look at it at the they same time. They cross the threshold of fancy words. Sam and Frodo sit together, slightly apart. It's too perfect. As though your garden in the Shire stopped growing weeds, Sam. A gardener leaves others to enjoy the beauty. His eyes are skinned for weeds. There are weeds everywhere, Master Frodo. Even here? Sam nods. He leans closer to Frodo and speaks in a low voice. Last night, there was a log floating by us. I was half asleep. And it had eyes, didn't it? You saw it too. I wasn't sure. This river journey, it's hard to tell between waking and sleeping. It got me thinking of that play acting at the council. <laughs> We can both put a name to it, Sam. It is, then. Yes. Gollum. Ooh. Sam shudders. <laughs> 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 that reminds me of uh, Lady... Uh, oh, Angela on, on Watchmen. Sister Knight. Sister Knight, that's yeah. it. Oh, yeah, yeah. In the, in the tomb. That scene, When yeah. she's, like, giving her a little speech, she's like, <laughs> she dumps out the car. That shit was my favorite. She's like, you just come up with a villain monologue? Ooh. I will punch you. Um, So this episode, I think, is like January 14th. We're, we're posting it. Or earlier, if you're a Patreon patron, you get hey. all our episodes the Friday before with no ads. Patron. Why, why are you not signed up for this? Do it now, people. Um, But... As we're recording it, uh, five episodes of Watchmen have been out, and they're the fucking best. They yes, are the best. They're all, all so if far. you have not watched Watchmen, go do it. I wish we did a podcast about Watchmen. We, we could. We could. <laughs> <laughs> it's too late. Why is it too late? Because there's already five episodes. We could just retroactively do the episode. I'll watch them again. Fuck it. I've already watched most of them twice. There you go. You already know. Um, he planned this. <laughs> this is his live pitch. Exterior. <laughs> He's on Samandias. Yeah. I planned this. <laughs> I, like, I like that we can release the Watchmen podcast earlier than its conception podcast, which is this one. <laughs> <laughs> we start doing it next week. We'll be That's like five true. episodes deep, and then there'll be a po an episode come out in January. Like, we should do a podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Now you're fucking with the timeline, Jeff. Stop. <laughs> this is great. I love podcasts. Exterior, raft and river, night. Aragorn is at the helm. Gimli stands at the prow, pole in hand, keeping watch. <laughs> oh, God. God. So much innuendo. I'm so glad he's still at the front. <laughs> I'm so glad Gimli has his pole in his hand. He's greedy. The raft drifts down the center of the river. The others sleep peacefully. Only Sam is watchful and awake. He starts. The log is by the side of the raft, two eyes peering up. Sam stealthily wakes up Frodo. The log slips into the shadows, but they hear a hissing of breath at the edge of the raft. Suddenly, Aragorn is at their side and his sword cleaves down into the water, but Frodo stays his hand and a dark shape darts away through the water. Why? Frodo does not reply, but nor does he cringe from Aragorn's reprimanding look. Aragorn and Frodo look hard into each other's eyes. There is a new understanding between them. You fuck? I do. You fuck? I do. I totally did once. Twice, maybe. We fuck. <laughs> we understand each other. I fucked a mirror. <laughs> Everybody knows mirrors code for pussy, right? Right? Uh, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I lost my Every, Everybody I, knows that, right? I lost my virginity twice at once. <laughs> <laughs> I both came and got camed on. <laughs> camed on? Camed on. 
<laughs> Jeff is bad at tenses. That's the. I didn't know. That's the. I know how to swap it to come Don. <laughs> that's the guy who runs the the Mexican uh, the fort in uh, Came Don. Came Don. <laughs> 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 I am the dawn of come. I'm came dawn. I am came dawn. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff's comments were written by a bot. <laughs> when you're here, you're here. In suitcases, friends. <laughs> the moment is broken as Boromir stirs in his sleep, and a childlike whimper escapes him. He doesn't fuck. A strong <laughs> man. <laughs> Look at this little silly boy down there. A strong man's fears hide in his dreams. His glance goes from Boromir to Frodo, and then to the river. The peaceful river conceals Gollum. Frodo smiles shyly. And a foolish hobbit bears the ring. This is the best music for our river journey. <laughs> Not all is what it seems. <laughs> Aragorn smiles. It is the first time Frodo has seen him smile. Oh. Exterior. <laughs> This is okay. Exterior, it's river and raft, area. rapids, day. Boromir is on the watch at the prow. Aragorn is at the helm. The river flows faster now. The others rest and doze. Gimli awakes and sits up listening. I hear the rapids. Boromir looks back. He is <coughs> indolent and exhausted by boredom. I hear nothing. Gimli's ear reaches further than ours. Strive for the riverbank. The companions are glad of some action. They take up the paddles and poles with relish. Now we got paddles now. Hmm. <laughs> then a whoosh of bowstrings accompanied by a fierce blood curdling cries by fierce blood curdling cries breaks upon them. Orcs! At last! A great flight of arrows rises out of the... I hope they all hit Boromir right now. <laughs> I am filleted! Orcs at last! Thun, 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 thun. Oh, I've been came, Don. <laughs> I missed that music. No, the music was like... Okay. I really liked it. Like, he was like, yeah, we're about to get into battle. Like, da -da 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 -da. Now we're battling. Oh, oh, oh. We're serious now. The battle. We're battling. Uh, Orcs at last. Oh, wait, no. Each arrow trails. A great flight of arrows rises out of the trees. Each arrow trails a strip of black cloth, and they are so dense it seems as though a thundercloud is darkening the sky. The arrows strike the raft and water like hailstones. <clears throat> the eight shield themselves as best as they can. One shaft strikes the frying pan which Sam holds above Frodo's head. Back! Paddle for your lives! The far bank! Some of the orcs rush forward from the trees and wade into the water. More arrows rain down upon them and around them. The companions drive the raft furiously across toward the other bank. Mary is struck in the arm with an arrow. Oh, sorry. I'm hit! I'm wounded! I'm dying! Legolas skillfully slits around the arrow, extracts it. I love that idea, like... Oh, you've been wounded. Let me open your wound further to fix you. <laughs> that was easy for me. <laughs> uh, he inserts into the slit a special leaf, which he plucks from his dress. Of course, he's wearing a yes, fucking dress. Medical dress. <laughs> <laughs> I am a secret elven nurse. A crumb of lembus will absorb as much of your blood yeah. as an entire loaf of bread. Yes. Antibiotic. <laughs> <laughs> Penicillin. This moldy it. lembus. <laughs> just say what, what heals you and just shove it in. Does it work that way? Uh, it is slight. This will draw the poison. Mary should be like, it was fucking poisoned. <laughs> poison? What the fuck? <laughs> no, don't, th don't make me think poison. Another flight of arrows sings out from orcs. Boromir is struck in the leg. Sam is hit on his bare foot. They desperately paddle against the increasing currents, oblivious of their wounds. <gasps> An arrow strikes Gimli in his side. 
The raft is soon irrevo irrevocably caught by the current which was which bears them swiftly down towards the rapids. They are soon out of arrow range. Legolas laughs grimly. The same force that draws us from the arrow drives us to the rapids. Aragorn fights desperately to keep the raft in control. Rocks point up angrily through the boiling waters, and he struggles to steer the raft between them. The once peaceful raft is now a platform of pain and confusion. Lash down the hobbits. Tie the ring bearer by me at the stern. Spray mingles with blood, and blood mingles with sweat as they battle for survival. Before they can complete their tasks, the rapids take them. Somehow, Aragorn forces the raft through a narrow channel between shoals and rocks. Down, down they plunge. Boromir pins the hobbits by lying spread eagle over them. Not the word you needed to use. <laughs> the raft plunges over a cataract and lands in swirling turbulent waters. It spins into a shallow pool and runs aground. Aragorn slumps over the helm. The others lie panting and bleeding, half drowned. The rapids have ceased. The river flows on, winding away into the distance, looking much like the road that began their journey. The musical theme of the road goes ever on reinforces this impression. Intermission. Fade out. So that is the first time we have ever seen the word intermission on this show. So that's interesting. Um, I think we actually got out a little early. Yeah, we got out a few minutes early on this one. Um, the but can you can you have a better place to stop than intermission? No, you found the intermission. That's intermission. like intermission. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just stopped whether we were ten minutes in or not. Yeah, I mean, we only stopped like three minutes early. It's fine. Oh, okay, that makes sense. We're great. So, this script is one big hard on. I am garbage. <laughs> Dirty garbage water, like the water at the bottom of your garbage can. Yeah, it's... So you don't like it. This is the horniest <laughs> script I've ever read. Yeah, it's pretty horny. Once again, you don't like it. Guys, you know, hard. I just had a great idea for okay. for a spin-off podcast. Oh, man. We got to find porn scripts. Okay. I've already got 10. Oh, okay. Jeff has really good ones. They're really fucking funny. I mean, someone has to write scripts to porn, right? I do. I, so his... <laughs> <laughs> the best one is a fanfic of the uh, the brothers. The Property Brothers. The Property Brothers. Yeah. Where they're I've heard there's a lot of Property where, Brothers. Where they're gay lovers, and it is so good. You are putting your fingers together. I'm trying. As, to if, as if the way that gay men have sex is by... Ramming dicks together. No, that's the start. That's how you start yeah, yeah, yeah. start the motor. It's you called gotta, docking. Yeah, docking. How else do you do Eskimo Brothers? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. I'm I'm woefully underinformed about. I can't wait for this. Matters of the, the gay great. sex. I love it. Are we initially? Are, are we officially announcing this? <laughs> <laughs> are you a top or a bottom? I'm I'm a side. What? Right, let's wrap this up. I got to do another hour of our second part. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like a snack. Jeff yeah. is not on the internet. I'm on Pornhub. <laughs> Most of my day. Pornhub, X videos. <laughs> you can find Jeff's user profile on Pornhub at Boromir and Gandalf doing the dirty. <laughs> Underscores between each word. Pornhub.com slash Mia Khalifa. <laughs> hey, Josh. Hey, Sean. You guys can uh, uh, you can reach out to me at me at joshuajbaker.com. Uh, I'm actually doing a lot of video production stuff lately. I got a brand new camera. It's very fancy. 
Uh, is it? What kind of camera is it? It is a Sony A7 Mark III. Is that fancy? Mirrorless? Yeah. Sounds mirrorless. It's fancy. It's it's much more fancy than I've ever had before. So I'm, I'm one of those people who breaks my equipment, so I have to be very careful with it. Very nice. Yeah, but it's it's been pretty good, yeah. So we can shoot the musical scene from this script? I feel like it's so we can shoot all of the stupid ideas that we have. <laughs> Speaking of the musical scene from this script, go sign up on our Patreon. You do that, we will reenact the big fucking musical scene. Costumes, swords, Josh's music. Camera. Yep. We're yep. going to do it. Just need... 10 people to sign up for Patreon from, from the time that we first said that we were going to do yeah. that two episodes yeah. ago. Yeah. So, do that. Um, the thing is, we're going to shoot it regardless, but we're not going to release it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that episode, by the time we're recording this, has not aired yet, so we haven't gotten any of those new <laughs> patrons. Stop breaking how it works. <laughs> <laughs> we record way too far in advance. Uh, as we're recording this, Indiana Jones has not yet finished posting. Oh, God. Who's president? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the last impeachment hearing, the last public impeachment hearing was today. Wow, this day in history by Sean McBee. Yes. Um, anyway, go sign up to Patreon, patreon.com slash table reads. Uh, you can also find us on Instagram and Twitter at the table reads. Um, we've got a link tree also. Um, go to linktree.com. I mean, linktree.tablereadspodcast.com. That'll be a shortcut to our link tree. And you can have links to all our stuff. So go do that. Like, subscribe, tune in next week. And until then, we'll miss you. This podcast was created by Sean McBee. For more. Visit TableReadsPodcast.com. Cut to black.